What's up everybody, Gary Nash guys. If you don't mind, hit the like and subscribe button and help me out. I'm gonna be doing a lot of new videos and a lot of fishing videos, but today I wanna to talk about something a lot of business owners will agree on, and that is about how to pick a sponsorship up, how to get sponsored. You know, I have a lot of questions all the time. You know, how do you get into that? How do you pick up sponsors? How do you do it? You know, how, how do you get companies want to pay your entry fees or to give you products? And there's a lot more to it than a lot of people think. And the very first tip I wanna say is look, you have to build a relationship with the company before they'll even sponsor you. You know, a lot of people, they're like wanting money or wanting products and don't even know them. Don't even use the product. You know, that don't look very good on you, so it's very li unlikely that you're going to get sponsored by that company. You know, so the first thing I can say is build a relationship and don't come in asking for money. You come in, they get that every day. Every day someone's coming in going, hey, will you sponsor me? You know, that happens all the time. They're not going to do it. So what you have to do is you need to get in there, use the product, show that you can sell the product, because sponsorships are not just about, oh, hey, I'm a good tournament angler. I'm a good bass fisherman. You know, I win tournaments. Yeah, you might win tournaments, but does that sell product all the time? Not necessarily. You know, sponsorship is not just about, oh, he's out fishing and he's got wraps and he's got logos. That's not what it's about. It's about sales and marketing. You have to be good at sales and marketing before you're gonna get a sponsorship. You know, these companies, want you to be able to make them money before you're going to get paid and that's my biggest saying you know when i talk to a sponsor it's like hey guys look let me show you that i can make you money before i make money from you because that gains a lot of respect because you know it takes a lot of money that these companies have to make to get the money that they're paying you back and they're going to want that they're going to want to make it worth okay if i'm giving this guy x amount of money am i going to make that back is that gonna be worth it to our company? Is he gonna grow our company? So coming into a company going, hey, I want money, they're gonna laugh at you. So the very first thing you need to do is one, build confidence in the product you wanna use, whether it's a swim bait, whether it's a rod, hooks, sinkers, whatever the case, you need to use the product, make sure you're gonna be able to promote the product, whether it's on YouTube, blogging, videos, pictures, social media or any kind of content like that or tournament fishing you have to have confidence in what you're using and you know you're going to start out at a low level expect to start out at a low level because you can't come in like i said saying hey pay me they're going to be like who are you where'd you come from so the very first thing you need to do is go you know go in there start get on their field staff get on their pro staff get a discount and show the company you're willing to work for them you know when when they see oh wait this guy's willing to work they're going to respect that and you're going to be able to get benefits off of that you might not necessarily get paid right away you might get free product take advantage of it be happy you know um it's really, really, really big to a company when you have a lot of respect for them and you want to show them you're willing to work. You know, so many people, they want stuff and want stuff, but they're not willing to work for it. You know, just because, yeah, I have a truck that's wrapped, I've got a boat that's wrapped, you know, there's a lot of work into that. It's not just, oh, hey, here's you money, go fishing. It's not, oh, it must be nice to get paid to fish because there's a lot of stuff that goes on behind the scenes of marketing and sales, like I said originally. You know, so it's, it's not easy and you have to be willing to do it. You have to be put a lot of time into it. You know, it's not something that happens overnight. I've been, you know, tournament fishing for a long time. Have I had sponsors for what, going on five years now? But it didn't start out as, you know, a wrap truck and a wrap boat that's not how it works i started out working hard for companies for little discounts posting pictures on social media you know selling products in bait shops you have to be able to do that if you're going to want to be a sponsored fisherman and that is the best tip i can tell you on picking up sponsors is one build with the company build a relationship with the company two show that they can that or that you can sell the product and three show that you're willing to work for that company 
you know show that you're willing to do anything it takes for that company rather you know they might need a picture of a bait or a video of a bait to sell it you know that means a lot to that company those guys are in the office and we're out here doing the footwork so they have to have people that we can they can rely on you know in order to to be able to sell that product so that's what sponsorship's about it's not about who's getting paid what and you know who has a nice truck with a wrap on it because i can promise you that's just logos that's a moving billboard and you know yes i'm thankful to have it but the biggest thing is is sales and marketing for these companies will get you a sponsorship if i can give you any tip at all don't walk up to a sponsor and say hey i want money because they're going to laugh at you so i hope you enjoyed this i'm going to be doing a lot more i hope y'all you know have a good afternoon and i hope to see y'all out on the water soon y'all have a good evening